Chapter 901, Fall to the Enemy Lu Xu stood on the slope of the mountain. The entire slope, which was originally covered with patches of grass, were now filled with plots of land and houses instead. The houses were built in such an aesthetically pleasing manner. It was aesthetically pleasing as the houses were very neat. Li Haiten and Zhang Weiyu had yet to look at the territory of the Heavenly Network. If not, they would be in awe by the aesthetics caused by the neatness. Meanwhile, Li Haiten and Lu Qianji were standing behind Lu Xu and guarding the center. Zhang Weiyu, on the other hand, looked confused. I gave you the tips because I wanted you to get the letter of recommendation. I can write it by myself, said Lu Xu calmly, although the process is different, the outcome remains the same. Zhang Weiyu opened his mouth but hesitated. To be honest, he had yet to see the commander of any army participate in the selection of the sword hut before. Thinking about this, Zhang Weiyu's tooth ached. I asked you to enter the Weiwu army, not to take charge of it. If you are so capable, why don't you go to the palace instead? Lu Xu was stunned for a moment. Don't I need to go there eventually? The sword hut is in the palace. Zhang Weiyu was speechless. You still insist on going to the sword hut after assuming the role of a commander? Yes, Lu Xu said seriously, I will still go to the sword hut. For some reason, Zhang Weiyu started to anticipate what would happen after Lu Xu had gone to the sword hut. He felt that something unpredictable would happen. At this moment, Lu Xu asked curiously. I won't take advantage of you, at least take a sip of water? At this moment, Dang Weiyu said, that's F asterisk king boiling water. From Zhang Weiyu's distress points, plus 199. Lu Xu was speechless. He was unable to drink the water. At this moment, Li Haiten and Lu Qinji realized that their commander knew the group of people beforehand and were rather close. However, Lu Qianji thought about it seriously, before the Black Feather army had arrived. Since when did the commander have the intention to enter the Wei Wu army, wasn't he keen on selling soap? Then, he realized that Lu Xu had started thinking about it since he had the idea of selling soap. Or else, how would he dare to allow the army to assist in the planting of crops while he sold soap? Moreover, he gave them subsidies? At this moment, chills went down Lu Qinji's back. Could it be that Lu Xu had predicted that they would escape unscathed too? At this moment, Lu Qinji's impression of Lu Xu became one that was extremely unpredictable. Meanwhile, Lu Xu was carefully scrutinizing Zhang Weiyu and the rest. They looked extremely tired, there were many holes on their shirts and their hair looked very messy. They must have suffered a lot while escaping. Lu Xu did a headcount and realized there were a total of 56 people, including Zhang Weiyu. Only Zhang Weiyu knew Lu Xu, that was why the others were cautious about Lu Xu. Lu Xu also realized that although the group looked ordinary, the aura they exuded was extraordinary. Although they were only a group of 56 ordinary people, Lu Xu felt that he was facing a group of experts. He asked Li Haiten to arrange for a meal for this group of people while Zhang Weiyu whispered to the people at the back, He is the young man with the highest realm of swordplay whom I had talked about. The people around Zhang Weiyu were stunned. Didn't you say that he was just a practitioner with a low status and a floater? Why did he suddenly become the commander of the Weiwu army? Zhang Weiyu was also slightly depressed. I would like to know the answer to that question too. In fact, Zhang Weiyu had plenty of experience. However, such an unexpected event had him in utter shock as well, since Lu Xu was the only one he knew who accomplished that. When they were eating, Lu Xu sat opposite Zhang Weiyu. Where are all of you heading to? Zhang Weiyu paused before replying, We are planning to go to the north, to take refuge in the north capital. Lu Xu smiled. He knew that Zhang Weiyu was lying. It was at least 1,000 miles from the north capital and even a rank 1 expert need three days to fly to the capital. Did Zhang Weiyu really think he was dumb? However, Lu Xu did not expose Zhang Weiyu. How's the battle situation now? All of you came from the world outside, do you happen to know the situation? 
The Nanning City, Yunnan City and Guangliao City have been invaded. The Qingxi army disappeared after trying to defend the territory. Now, the Black Feather Army is approaching the Liyang Pass and is ready to attack the city, said Zhang Weiyu. Liyang Pass is the most important traffic route, which connects the southern region from the east. When Nanging City was surrounded, the Red Flame Army situated at the Liyang Pass left the city in the lurch. Now with the army's complete strength, it should not be easily defeated by the Black Feather Army. Moreover, the route to Yunnan City and Guangliao City is towards the north. The Black Feather Army has to go through the Away Bay Pass if they are heading to the north. So do you think the Black Feather Army will head to the east or the north? asked Lu Xu. The Away Bay Pass and Ali Yang Pass were like doors that trapped the Black Feather Army. They were also constructed to prevent the invasion of an army from the west and were equipped with sufficient manpower to defend it. I think the Black Feather Army is very ambitious. Zhang Weiyu frowned. They had rested for three years. I think they may split ways and attack from both sides. So ambitious, thought Lu Xu, then will we get involved? I don't think they will come after you before they attack successfully, said Zhang Weiyu calmly, even if they did, they have to continue attacking towards the city. They will not care about a handful of you who are hiding in the mountains, unless you court death or disturb them. Oh. Lu Xu heaved a sigh of relief. As long as it's safe here. Zhang Weiyu looked at Lu Xu. You are a commander now. You seriously don't know what to do with these people? I do, said Lu Xu, I have some ideas. Oh. Zhang Weiyu was interested. Mind sharing? I made a careful calculation. After this battle, I will ask all of them to produce soap for me. By then, I will have an army responsible for producing soap, and I will earn big bucks. Lu Xu was already fantasizing about the future. From Zhang Weiyu's distress, plus 666. Zhang Weiyu felt that they were not talking about the same topic. As a commander, he was still concerned about selling soap? Shouldn't he be thinking about establishing his own career with the army? The attack of the Black Feather Army was the sign of the start of chaos. The southern region would probably undergo a reshuffle of power. Hold on. Zhang Weiyu said after a long pause, you created soap? Chapter 902, Training Zhang Weiyu had heard about soap when he was in town. Now, everyone was fighting over soap. Nobody knew who started it, but people had to wash their hands with soap before reading the poems of the king or it would be seen as being disrespectful towards the old king of gods. Therefore, selling soap was an extremely profitable business. Zhang Weiyu exclaimed, if I had this skill, I would not need to put in so much hard work into farming. Lu Xu said modestly, I accidentally invented it to make a living. From Zhang Weiyu's distress, plus 481. Zhang Weiyu really did not expect that Lu Xu started such a profitable business by himself. There were countless people who loved the poems of the king, and the numbers could be counted in terms of hundreds of thousands. Moreover, soap was a consumer product. If he expanded his business, the profits brought by soap was terrifyingly great. In fact, the soap business on earth was also very profitable. However, there were immense competition. If only one company had a monopoly over the soap industry in the entire world, it would be extremely terrifying. Now, many of the female aristocrats in this world used soap as shampoo. Normally, the female would apply a layer of oil on their heads to make their hair look glossy. However, despite looking glossy, the smell was overwhelming as the layer of oil could not be washed off completely and the smell was overwhelming as the years passed. Meanwhile, soap was the best way one could use to deal with oil. Lu Xu said suddenly, why don't you guys stay here instead of heading to the north capital? Both parties fell silent. Lu Xu had a motive for letting Zhang Weiyu stay. He suspected that Zhang Weiyu trained the army before and he needed a talent to train his army. Zhang Weiyu could accurately deduce many things such as the trajectory of the arrow shot by the horsemen of the Black Feather Army. 
this type of talent was what Lu Xu needed now. I'm afraid we can't, Zhang Weiyu shook his head as he ate. I think it would be safer if we continued our journey. Before he could finish his sentence, Li Heighton took the food of Zhang Weiyu and the rest away. Zhang Weiyu was confused as he held his chopsticks and stared at the empty table. From Zhang Weiyu's distress, plus 666. Lu Xu did not know how to react to Li Heighton. Return the bowl to them, who asked you to take it away? Li Heighton was stunned for a moment. Didn't you ask me to take the bowl away if they are not staying? Scram, said Lu Xu calmly. Lu Xu finally knew why Li Heighton was not well liked in the Azure Dragon Village. He was too straightforward. Cough, cough. Lu Xu smiled and looked at Zhang Weiyu. Don't you want to think about it a little more? Zhang Weiyu was in a dilemma. It seemed as though they would not give him anything to eat if he did not agree to stay. Why did a prudent teenager end up like this in a blink of an eye? Actually, Zhang Weiyu had very little contact with Lu Xu. He would understand that he was already extremely kind if he had known him earlier. Lu Xu said, if you stay to help with the training of army, I will pay everyone 2,000 bucks, how about that? The most important factor was to prevent the notes from undergoing depreciation. That was because no matter how the southern and northern region fought, cash would be allowed across the entire country as long as the palace did not fall. Lu Xu used a 500-gram portion of rice to measure the price of the notes in this world and that on earth. And now that Lu Xu promised to give each person 2,000 notes, it would be a considerable amount for 56 people. They had earned quite a lot in the past from selling soap, but the war soon started after that, right? Therefore, it was rare for Lu Xu to be so generous, simply because he saw the potential in the other party. Lu Xu knew that as long as the other party was willing, he could get huge benefits from standing on that party's side. Zhang Weiyu suddenly went deep into thought. He was analyzing the benefits and drawbacks of this matter. However, before he could finish his analysis, Lu Xu started to worry about money. He heard Lu Xu ask, how about 1,000? Zhang Weiyu lifted his head and said, 2,000, no bargaining. However, you have to promise us something. What? Lu Xu was curious. If the conditions permit, if the counterattack of the Red Flame army was successful, you have to participate in this battle and help us get the town back. If the Black Feather army completely took over the land, you have to quietly escort us back to town. As for how we are going to settle with our identities, we can do it by ourselves, said Zhang Weiyu. Lu Xu was stunned for a moment. Is the town so important? Why must all of you stay in town? You do not need to care about that, said Zhang Weiyu calmly. Deal. Lu Xu agreed. However, the precondition is that the Wei Wu army must have the capability. I would not court death. Rest assured, we won't force you. Zhang Weiyu knew that it was an unfair deal as Lu Xu represented the more powerful party. They could not do anything if Lu Xu went against his words. However, if Lu Xu trusted them to educate the Wei Wu army, Zhang Weiyu would believe that Lu Xu was not those type of people who would go against his words. At this moment, a person behind Zhang Weiyu said coldly, leave the training to us. However, don't feel sorry for them and don't point your fingers at anyone. Lu Xu smiled happily. Rest assured, I will leave the professional things to the professionals. However, I have to make things clear, I won't pay if I don't see the desired results. He finally heaved a sigh of relief as he found help when he needed it. Lu Xu could not wait to see how the group of professionals would train the Wei Wu army. He could also take the chance to see their abilities. However, if he found that Zhang Weiyu and the rest were incompetent, he would not waste his money. Lu Xu knew that Zhang Weiyu and the rest still had their guards up against him. However, he was not concerned about that. He did not have to befriend everyone on earth and he did not mind not making friends with that group of people. Amongst those in the Wei Wu army, Lu Qianji was a rank 3 and over 300 people, 
including Lee Heighton, were rank 4 while the remaining troops were rank 5. Meanwhile, more than half of them were not able to level up because they were not equipped with the capability. Lu Xu suddenly thought, would it be possible to train them as a whole so they could be upgraded to the next level of rank? Initially, he was envious when he heard Zhang Weiyu say that Imperial Dragon soldiers of rank 1 and rank 2 could sweep away enemies. With this group of powerful individuals, even 5,000 of them could win against an army with tens and thousands of soldiers. If the Black Feather Army was the Brand Chanel, then the Imperial Dragon soldiers would be Maybach Accelero. There was only one of that model in the world. This was two completely different worlds. Lu Xu asked Zhang Weiyu curiously, are the Imperial Dragon soldiers still as powerful? Zhang Weiyu looked at him. There are no longer any Imperial Dragon soldiers. Chapter 903, Inheritance of Techniques Where will we be able to steal, find a technique greater than the ceiling? Lu Xu asked. He felt that Zhang Weiyu should know this kind of thing. When Zhang Weiyu heard the word steal, he raised his eyebrows. But he did not think much about it. Lu Xu was referring to the upper limit. If one could only train until rank 1, then the ceiling was rank 1. The techniques that the major slave owners had were only at most rank 4, while the aristocrats had rank 2 techniques. Only true aristocrats and tycoons could reach rank 1. Thus, techniques determined rank. It was extremely difficult to break through the ranks. There are such techniques, but they are all unsuitable. Zhang Weiyu glanced at Lu Xu. Some aristocrats are lonely. Even if they have techniques, they have no successors that can inherit these techniques. It is said that they did not have sufficient natural endowments. There are many of such aristocrats. Thus, after they had learned their lesson, they ensured that their family line would be continued. Therefore, they have to find a way to ensure that their sons can inherit these techniques. How about those who are infertile? How can this happen? Lu Xu was dumbfounded. This was Zhang Weiyu's first time hearing this noun, but it was easy to understand, according to Lu Xu's knowledge, many cases of infertility on earth belong to males, not females. But he could not understand how high-leveled practitioners could face such a problem. Zhang Weiyu thought about it and said, after this world had experienced a prolonged period of cultivation, the growth in population was different from that of in history. At first, strong people gave birth to new life in the same way as ordinary people. Slowly, it started to change. I have seen newborn babies who are born with rank 6 abilities. They were gifted with power. Why does it feel like they're giving birth to monsters? Lu Xu had a strange expression on his face. That simile is not reliable. Zhang Weiyu rolled his eyes. But later on, although the sons were born strong, the birth rate mysteriously dropped. Many people insisted that the women were at fault. They thought that the females were too weak and could not bear the weight of a strong baby. Thus, the aristocrats in the capitals and the palace liked to nurture strong females. They even traded strong female slaves. But this has not been proven. Lu Xu felt that it was the same on earth. If a couple could not have children, the wife would be blamed. Furthermore, had the people in this world discovered another path of evolution? There were newborn babies who already won at the starting line, to be honest. Darwin's theory of evolution had been overturned on Earth. No one could say for certain how humans evolved. Darwin had said that humans had evolved from mammals, a process that started three to five million years ago. But the problem was, many tests were carried out in response to Darwin's theory of evolution. For example, in 1822, an explorer found the footsteps of a human from over 300 million years ago. In 1986, traces of humans that trace back to 200 to 600 million years go. Thus, various arguments started to surface. Some said that humans were a result of evolution, while others said that humans were a natural species. The only result was that humans were confused about a few questions. It would be clearer to summarize these questions. Who am I? 
Where am I? Where am I from? What am I doing? For some aristocrat families, fathers had passed away because of war even before their children could grow up. You're digressing. Lu Xu's expression darkened. I was asking you about techniques. There are some aristocrat families without sons. There are many aristocrats in the palace who are selling their techniques. But do you have the time to go to the palace? Zhang Weiyu asked. Indeed, I don't have time. Lu Xu nodded his head. They were 600 kilometers away from the northern capital. The palace would be even further away. Lu Xu realized that Zhang Weiyu and the rest were still hiding something. But now, everyone was on their guard. They would do things slowly. At night, the King Lu Mountain was quiet. Lu Xu requested all the soldiers from the Wei Wu army, except for those who were on patrol, to return to the campsite at night to rest. Making a lot of noise was prohibited. At first, the Wei Wu army was not used to it. In the past, they were free to do whatever they wanted during their breaks. But slowly, they got used to it. Zhang Weiyu and the rest whispered in the barrack that they had been assigned to. Furthermore, there were people on guard outside the door, to prevent others from eavesdropping. Is the young man reliable? Someone asked. Zhang Weiyu thought about it. He is not reliable for minor issues, but reliable for major affairs. Why do you say so? This young man. Zhang Weiyu recalled with complex feelings. If your life is not in danger, don't place your hopes on him. It is good enough if he is not angry. But when something major happens, he is able to stand up at the most crucial times. Someone said, I carefully observed his stride and his power. He is no doubt a rank 4. But I cannot understand one thing. How did a rank 4 take charge of the Wei Wu army? The young lady beside him is a rank 2. The person with the pink scarf is impressive, but the situation is controlled by the slave. Zhang Weiyu shook his head. You missed out a problem. Only half a month passed after I parted with him. Back then, he had just reached rank 6. Wait. Someone was shocked. Are you saying that he advanced from rank 6 to rank 4 in half a month? How long did all of you take? I took one and a half years. I took one year. I took half a year. After much discussion, everyone took at least half a year. These people were considered geniuses among the geniuses. But they could not understand. Lu Xu had wasted half of that time to settle his soap business. If he had put in all his strength, he would have been able to complete the leap from rank 6 to rank 4 in less than a month. Swordplay was Lu Xu's greatest support now. His base of cultivation was integration with the heaven and the earth. Do you think that he can reach that rank? Zhang Weiyu softly said. Do you mean, the master realm? Someone was shocked. There are only slightly over ten people who have achieved the master realm. Do you think that he can make it? This requires fate, luck and willpower. He must have natural endowments as well. Zhang Weiyu looked at his old friends and said, I have experienced his willpower. Back then, I had thought that he was a typical slave with a pretty face, but when he was still an ordinary person, he persevered even if his body was about to crumble. Back in the day, I did not have the willpower like he did. Fate. Natural endowments. Willpower. Do you think that he lacks these? I don't think so. Old Zhang, just say what you want to do, said someone. Before I joined the Imperial Dragon Soldiers, I was a child of an aristocrat family, said Zhang Weiyu. Someone laughed happily. Don't talk about your origins anymore. We are all sick of it. What I mean is, after I joined the Imperial Dragon Soldiers, although I trained with the techniques from the old King of Gods, I did not dispose of the techniques from my family. Furthermore, these techniques can be used to train until rank 1. Old Zhang, think carefully about this. Are you going to give something so valuable to him? 
Someone was shocked. I know that you have people like me. Back then, no one had any techniques. But after the old king of gods bestowed it upon us, we held them in contempt. Zhang Weiyu smiled. What use is there for us to hold on to it? Even if we were able to train, we can't use it. Then, why not give it as a gift? In exchange, we will have a gamble. We will bet whether he will be a helping hand to us in the future. If we sell it to him, he might not be able to buy it. Even if he could, he would not appreciate the kindness because it was a fair exchange. Then we will give it to him and see what the broken Weiwu army will become in his hands. Chapter 904, Stabilize, Growth At dawn, moonlight shone down on King Lu Mountain. But when Zhang Weiyu and the rest were still sleeping, they heard the sound of urgent footsteps outside. They got up from their beds and looked through the window to see what was happening outside. Did the Black Feather Army come? If not, why would there be such a large commotion? At this moment, Zhang Weiyu and the rest felt that something was not right. Slowly, they realized what was wrong. The soldiers of the Weiwu army were not in a flurry. Their steps were neat and coordinated. Over 3,000 people stepped on the ground at the same time. It sounded like the drumming of the war drums. The momentum was like a wave. What are they doing? Zhang Weiyu asked with shock and uncertainty. Dong Yi, who was part of the Imperial Palace soldiers, hesitated. It does not seem like the Black Feather Army has come. They seem to be engaging in some group activity. If the enemy had come, they would not behave this way. Lee Hyten's voice could be heard from outside. 121-121-1234 Zhang Weiyu, who wanted to go out and see what was happening, was dumbfounded. Is this, a code? No. Have you realized that when he shouts the numbers, the neat footsteps are in sync with the beat? Someone had discovered a clue. This could be a kind of training. I have never seen this kind of training. Since there was definitely no danger, Zhang Weiyu led the way out. They saw over 3,000 Weiwu army soldiers divided into over 30 groups. Each group was made up of 100 people. They ran in a neat manner. Although there were times when people fell out of beat, they would immediately catch up. Li Haiten led the shouting. This was how they coordinated their footsteps. They would put their left foot down at one and put their right foot down at two. Zhang Weiyu and the rest were smart. They immediately understood the benefits of such training. This was to make the army more disciplined and display their mental state. This would not be very useful on the battlefield, but was very effective during typical training. They were more surprised that Lu Xu was able to train the broken Weiwu army to such a state in a short period of time. There were 300 Imperial Palace soldiers among the Imperial Dragon soldiers. Each of them were the commander of 100 ordinary Imperial Dragon soldiers. Thus, everyone understood that it was not easy to train the Weiwu army to obey him. Last night, they were still discussing that if the Weiwu army did not cooperate, they would use severe methods to teach them a lesson. But now, it did not seem necessary. Zhang Weiyu looked around, but did not see Lu Xu. He waited for Li Haiten to walk past him and asked, Where is Commander Great Lord? Li Haiten looked at Zhang Weiyu and roared, One. Two. Three. Four. Zhang Weiyu was speechless. Were you crazy? I asked you a question. Zhang Weiyu was most irritated by Li Haiten. Even if you said he had evil intentions, he did not have any. Zhang Weiyu forcefully pulled Li Haiten. I asked you a question. Where is the commander great lord? He went to train his swordplay, said Li Haiten in a low, muffled voice. Zhang Weiyu nodded his head. Lu Xu still had his firm and tenacious attitude, and continued to train. Along the long path of life, ordinary people only saw the glorious parts of life. But they did not know that these kinds of acts that defied the natural order needed willpower. As with their discussion, to rise to prominence, 
one needed willpower, fate, and natural endowments. Lu Xu had all of these, especially willpower, which was the most important. Is there anything else? Li Haiten asked in a very impolite manner. Zhang Weiyu was upset. Doesn't your commander Great Lord care about your disgusting attitude? He did, said Li Haiten. But he stopped. Lu Xu had indeed given up, but he was a very tolerant person. Since he knew that Li Haiten had a frank personality, it would be Lu Xu's loss if he wanted to turn Li Haiten into someone who engaged in deep thought. When Zhang Weiyu heard Li Haiten's reply, he was dumbfounded. Then can't you take care of yourself? Li Haiten was dumbfounded. If you say it like that, my great lord can't even take care of me. How can I take care of myself? Zhang Weiyu said, TSK. You make sense. Zhang Weiyu and the rest observed the training by the side. Although it was not high in intensity and did not have much to do with actual combat, this was probably a motive that Lu Xu wanted to leave him with. Lu Xu himself also knew that this kind of training alone would not be able to turn the Wei Wu army into an invincible army. He still had to combine this with other forms of training. Lu Xu only reappeared during breakfast. Then, he looked at an account book with Lu Xiaoyu and chatted. The others did not know what they were discussing. Lu Xu and the rest were managing the lives of the soldiers from the Wei Wu army. They had to be careful and strict with their budgeting. After Zhang Weiyu and the rest came, Lu Xu did not discuss anything with them. Instead, he wanted to go into the land and see how the situation unfolded. Zhang Weiyu suddenly realized that in just one night, Lu Xu's vigor seemed different from yesterday's. His tremendous progress was very frightening. He did not seem like a person who had just started cultivation. Under normal circumstances, low-leveled practitioners would take many detours if they did not have anyone to guide them. But this did not seem to apply to Lu Xu. It was as if he already knew where his destination was. He just had to go there. Zhang Weiyu was not sure. So far, Lu Xu had trained only to make up for the flaws in his training. If the celestial map was opened, then his physique would be two times stronger than experts of the same rank as him. When these powers were combined, it was not as simple as adding one and one. Lu Xu had suppressed his rank. Once he made up for the flaws in his training, who knows how strong he would become. The crops here are growing more quickly. Lu Xu patrolled the large fields. We will have our first harvest in three months. Then, we no longer have to worry about the lack of crops. But we need to resolve the lack of salt. We can have a lack of grains, but not salt. Lu Xiaoyu noted these down in her book. She was the manager now and was concerned about these things. How about the rearing of creatures? Lu Xu asked. Recently, Lu Qianji and the rest have tried to capture animals alive when they go into the mountains to hunt. But for now, we only have one type of goat. This kind of goat will become more docile when it is herded. As for the other beasts, they don't even eat once they have been captured and reared. They want to live for themselves, but end up starving to death. Either that, or they are very irritable and hard to manage, said Lu Xiaoyu. Creatures will always be creatures. Lu Xu sighed. They had big dreams, but reality fell short. They could not rid all creatures of their barbarity. Chapter 905 Unaccountably Solicitous Lu Qianji, who was beside them, further elaborated, we only have these goats to breed after the male goats have been castrated. According to their growth, we will be able to obtain the first batch of kids in three to four months. Don't touch the lambs for now. Don't stop the hunting either. Working on the fields is very tough. We cannot deprive our soldiers of meat, said Lu Xu. The mountains are our storage. We only have as much as we can find. Lu Xu was working hard to become the backbone of the army. Lu Xiaoyu was also working hard to make herself useful to Lu Xu. When Zhang Weiyu saw the two of them, he suddenly felt that Lu Xu was very down to earth. 
typical aristocrats and slave owners would never care about these kinds of things. But he also pondered about how he should tell Lu Xu about passing down techniques. First, he felt that his techniques were more than decent. If the Imperial Dragon soldiers had not insisted that their techniques all be the same, he would have thought of a way to train his family techniques as well. Next, how should he pass the techniques down to Lu Xu? Zhang Weiyu knew that Lu Xu was not an ungrateful person, but how should he ensure that Lu Xu appreciated it? Last night, Zhang Weiyu and the rest spent a long time talking. They had always been separated and had few opportunities to chat. When they escaped, they could not do so either. Thus, they could finally settle down last night. Everyone suddenly felt relaxed. It was as if they had suddenly put down a burden. They could finally have a good chat. Some people started to weep bitterly. They asked Zhang Weiyu how long they had to bear this before the day came, or if the day would ever come in the first place. Zhang Weiyu understood. They had borne far too much in the past few years. But they could continue to wait if they could redeem themselves. Because they missed the golden times in the past. They also knew who had given them these golden times. Zhang Weiyu was lucky. The old king of gods had selected him from the aristocrats to join the imperial dragon soldiers. Many people had forgotten that a majority of the imperial dragon soldiers were orphans, or had tragic experiences. They were all brought back by the old king of gods. Outsiders said that the old king of gods was cruel and emotionless, as they were once the enemies of the king of gods. They had witnessed the cruelty of the war. But Zhang Weiyu and the rest understood that the old king of gods was not a cold and emotionless tyrant. Over twenty years had passed since they had led an army. Back then, when a new person was brought by the old king of gods to join the imperial dragon soldiers, they would tease the newcomer out of kindness. They would then quietly observe as the newcomer slowly integrated with the rest. Over time, it was impossible to differentiate them. Now, everyone suddenly realized that they had another opportunity to lead an army. Although they could not walk on the battlefield with their current physique, they could satisfy their desires. They had complex emotions. They clearly knew that they could no longer go on the battlefield, but they wanted a taste of what had happened back in those days. It was very interesting just thinking of how they would treat the soldiers of the Wei Wu army like newcomers to the Imperial Dragon Soldiers. Then, not only was Zhang Weiyu willing to put out his techniques, the others had also taken out their private collections. Back then, the Imperial Dragon Soldiers was under the surveillance of the old King of Gods. It was impossible for them to not have any private collections. They had carried out the extermination and punishment of some large aristocrat families. How was it possible that they had nothing in their possession? The last time they counted, over 50 of them had a total of over 20 different techniques. All of them started to be picky. If the techniques could not be trained until rank 1, then do not take them out. How embarrassing! Thus, the over 20 techniques were reduced to 5. All of them could be trained to rank 1. There were benefits to having more techniques. An army often needed to face different environments and enemies. A diverse army would mean a lower rate of fault tolerance. Although the Imperial Dragon Soldier techniques were strong, their techniques were not weak either. Everyone had thought that it was of no use to nurture the Wei Wu army. It could even be considered a trade. But as they talked, new changes occurred. Zhang Weiyu and the rest wanted to take this as their own. They even used jargon in their conservation. They had to lead the troops well and not have an army where the soldiers were useless. It was as if there was a competition among them. Now, Zhang Weiyu wanted to maximize his benefits. He would first tell Lu Xu about the situation. Everything after that would come naturally. Lu Xu was done patrolling the fields and was about to continue training in the limestone cave to break through to rank 3. Zhang Weiyu dragged Lu Xu to one side and said, We are willing to offer five techniques that can be trained to rank one to nurture the Wei Wu army. I reject. Lu Xu simply rejected. Zhang Weiyu was dumbfounded. 
he had five techniques that could be trained to rank one. What gave Lu Xu the right to reject them? Then, he looked at Lu Xu's expression and understood his apprehension, they had offered too many techniques at once. It was too good to be true. To Lu Xu, one who is unaccountably solicitous was hiding evil intentions. He did not want the Wei Wu army to be particularly powerful. He had given the imperial dragon soldiers free reign to their imagination, but had not set anything in stone. After all, he wanted to return to Earth. He was just a visitor in this world. Lu Xu did not doubt Zhang Weiyu's reliability, as he should be able to take out the techniques in front of Lu Xu. But the more insider information he had, the more it explained his past position before his fall. What kind of person was able to obtain five rank one techniques? A lord of heaven? An important person to the king of gods? No matter what position he had been in, it was probably something Lu Xu could not be involved in and escape in one piece. Lu Xu was a very conscientious person. Back then, when Li Xianyi offered to teach him swordplay, he could even reject him. Now, there was nothing that he could not reject. In any case, Lu Xu did not need these techniques anyway. His celestial map and swordplay were invincible, at least, this was what he had thought. But Zhang Weiyu could not accept this. Wait. These five techniques are all one could wish for. Now, we just want to strengthen the Weiwu army. There is a high concentration of magical energy here. We might as well tell you that we have a way to increase their strength quickly. They have the power to do so. It is not impossible to produce an army filled with rank 4s and above. Half of them will even be able to reach rank 3. Rank 3s like Lu Qianji are even better. How about this? I will assure you that I will nurture them to rank 2. They had agreed on this game, so why did Lu Xu no longer allow them to play? Although the Wei Wu army was broken, the abilities of these roamers were at least rank 5. Furthermore, Zhang Weiyu and the rest had special methods. His promise to produce a rank 4 army was a conservative goal. After all, it would be awkward if he could not fulfill his promise. If this leaked out, it would affect the reputation of the Imperial Palace soldiers. Zhang Weiyu and the rest looked forward to leading the Weiwu army out one day and giving everyone a large scare. Just thinking about it satisfied their desires. It was a different sense of achievement from personal training. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know Last half full or empty and we just put them on the show